So I thought I should do a back garden tour. Let's start in the greenhouse, then I'll show you the back bit here. Um, I've still sowing the odd stuff, but it's just a question of keeping up with what's been destroyed by the wildlife. So I desperately need to plant out these sweet peas. There's a cucumber there that needs to go out and a melon. A few hollyhocks there, some peppers, some cosmos that are desperate to go out. Um, a few herbs I sowed here are coming up. And there's some sunflowers. Uh, some flowers I brought and brassicas. Now that really needs to go out because it's getting quite yellow. It's hungry. Hopefully the slugs won't destroy these brassicas. So I have to have a look. But there's always stuff that gets eaten by the wildlife. So... So up the back here, that's my, I say wild strawberries, they're not wild strawberries, but I've planted them as ground cover. We have a thin bed of potatoes here, a slightly thicker one there, and an even thicker one there. These were planted first, so they'll be ready first. Then... Over here, that never came to anything, that was my board beans. But I've got potatoes there, potatoes there, a bit of chard going to seed there. I've got potatoes there, and some beetroot in there. Yes, I know there's bindweed, brambles, herb robert, but I'm trying to keep up with it. Amber. She likes the sun. So let's come down into the garden and have a quick look. Lovely hydrangea, a fuchsia there. Let's come round. Now all these flower beds have got a lot of grass growing up through them. So they need a hell of a lot of work. I love the smell of this rose. Ah, uh, I've forgotten what this is called, but at least it's flowering now. I've got some two different sorts of holly growing there to make a hedge. Roses, fuchsia. Is that holly? No, that looks like snapdragons. Verbena. I've got a pear tree. This is a hydrangea that I've had to cut back. So I've got some flowers up there, but not on the side. Some roses that have gone over. These roses are way too flopped out. But I didn't have the heart to cut them off until they'd finished flowering. So what I'm trying to have is a bit of a mixed hedge. I have a woven wire fence behind and small panels of woven wire lower down so this little dog doesn't get out but yeah rather than the privet hedge I've got other things that are gradually growing to make a hedge but a hedge that also flowers my patio air is a mess you don't want to see that again here too many grass weeds but I've got my aces there. I've got roses. No, is this an astilbe? I can't remember. I've got some geraniums there. Oh, I've forgotten what this variegated leaf is. It does so well in the uh, shade. 
Looks like I need to uh, prune the apple tree again. This was in flower, now I need to cut it back. Another hydrangea, geranium. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah! Sorry. That cherry was full of ants. It'd been pecked by the birds and then eaten. So yeah, I don't get many cherries off of here. <sighs> Way too many weeds to pull. Certainly doesn't look perfect. So it doesn't look perfect, but it's green, it's flowery, and it kind of looks pretty. Sorry, I'm in the shade there. So that's how my back garden looks at the end of June. So thanks for watching. Bye for now.